Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and this is my blind commentary, blind reaction to Mob Psycho 100 Season 2 Episodes 9 to 13 and the Season 2 OVA. So this is my Season 2 finale reaction for Mob Psycho 100. Um, this was... Uh, this was amazing. Um, yeah, it was crazy. So, uh, first of all, links are down below in the description. Um, should be, hopefully, BitChute, Megalinks. Uh, this will be a big video, so there'll probably be two Megalinks for 720p and 1080p instead of just a 1080p, uh, like I do for the smaller ones. Um, yeah, this was crazy. This was amazing. Um, like I said, this kind of topped off what was just a fantastic season of Mob, and, uh, I don't know how much I'll talk about it, but, uh, yeah, links are down below in the description to my reaction, so if you want to check that out, as per usual, you know the drill, you know where they are, you know how this goes. Um, and then beyond that, we have, uh, other links as well. There's a uh, the My Anime List, in which Mob is a completed series now. Hey. Um, also the Discord server, which is really cool. There's Twitter. Um, there's Google Doc that has some fun stuff in it. There's um, my email, and then there's the Patreon. If you want to support me, you can also vote on the monthly movie poll. The first one is going on right now. And uh, if you if you just go over there and check it out, you can see the movies without the movies on the poll without um, pledging. Anyways, um, that's uh, that's that. Um, I'm actually it's funny. I wasn't tired when I finished, and then I kind of started recording this, and I think I kind of realized like, man, damn, Mob Psycho kind of wore me out. I'm actually pretty tired, uh, and maybe it's just I'm trying to think. Did I get a? Good, I feel like I had a pretty good sleep. Like I went to sleep super late. Like I usually do because I don't sleep that much um but no I mean it's pretty normal for me but um I don't know I don't know I I almost feel yeah I don't know I feel kind of weird um but I I enjoyed the reaction I enjoyed the, the episodes uh, immensely I don't know how good the reaction is going to come out because I felt like for multiple episodes it was mostly just me freaking out over how insane the animation was and also how insane the the fights themselves were um, and I didn't think I was giving a lot of like interesting commentary. Um, it was mostly the reaction portion, which technically I do call them reactions as opposed to commentaries, even though, uh, there, you know, I, I, a lot of times when I do my intro, I say another blind commentary, blind reaction, as you guys know, because I like to think of them as kind of both. Um, but, uh, this was just insane. Like, it's kind of hard to process everything that happened. Um, I will say, I think the story that they told was beautiful, but I almost felt a little more invested in the storytelling elements of the earlier parts of the season. Uh, this was just so insane that you kind of just get lost in just the incredible uh, fight scenes that are happening. And, and that's not really me. Um, I'm not one to typically get lost in fight scenes. I think that very rarely happens. I mean, I can think of Gurren Lagann maybe, uh, but very rarely do I just kind of just get lost in the hype. Uh, but definitely this is a show that can do that to me. I mean, it just looks so beautiful, so fantastic. And, you know, this is a show also where I am fully behind the main characters. You know, my two favorite characters in this show are Reagan's number one, Shigeo's number two. It's actually quite close now. Uh, it used to be Reagan all the way, but Shigeo, as much as I loved him in season one, he became an absolute god in this season, I mean, this was Mob's season, and to see Mob grow into more of the man and mature into the person that he's going to be was absolutely beautiful. And like I said, that was kind of the driving force of this entire season. And while being a general central narrative of the show as a whole, the way that they portrayed it in the second season was just top tier. And it, it it's, it's turned Mob, in my opinion, into one of the most likable protagonists, uh, I've probably ever seen an anime like there's not that many that I love as much as Mob. He is an absolute beast. 
He is fucking fantastic. He is just so much fun to uh, to watch grow up and uh, getting to experience that through these first 25 episodes of Mob Psycho 100 has been a blast, and I can't wait to continue to do it one day. Uh, but yeah, really good stuff. Um, obviously, he had his big fight with Suzuki, which was just disgusting. Like, that was just insane. Um, you know, and they kind of, I mean, just mob just being pushed to his limits and beyond, uh, truly in a way that I feel like no one else in the series has been able to do. And just the absolute just absurdity of the fights and everything. And it's weird because I don't see this show as having a discernible ending. Uh, it's kind of weird in that sense. Like, and I guess the same thing goes for one punch man. Like, I don't know what the discernible ending is for either of these shows. I feel like they can just kind of keep going as long as they want to, uh, which is interesting from uh, one sauce, but I assume that one does have an idea of where he wants to eventually go with both of these series. And I'm very curious to find out, like, kind of in the long term, like, what might be the end game for both of these shows. Because Mob Psycho 100 feels just kind of, and One Punch Man both kind of feel like these shows where it's like they have this great story and, like, you know, they, they, they teach really cool lessons about the world and about, you know, your sense of self and all of that stuff and your place in the world and all this great stuff. One Punch Man a bit more in a comedic way, although Mob Psycho is hilarious as well. Um, but both of them tell those great stories. But like I said, I don't feel like they have a discernible ending. And because of that, I don't know, have any idea how long they might be. Uh, so it's really interesting to think about, but, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the future with this show. It's going to be really fun. Um, the first two seasons have been fantastic. I thought the second season was better than the first, which is, of course, a good sign for the future. And uh, I'm just really ready to see where we can go with the show from here because they've already taken it to such great heights and i and i'm very curious to see if mob psycho 100 can be even better than it already has been and i don't know i don't know what the answer to that is because i think a lot of times when i think a show can't get better it te there's a, plenty of cases where they prove me wrong um and i don't know if i necessarily feel that way about mob at this point but it's like i feel like for what mob is i feel like they perfected what mob psycho 100 is all about and it's kind of like how do you go beyond that? Because I, at least for the show that Mob is, I don't know how you could get much better than this. I don't, I really don't know. And I think that has me excited too, because I, I want to be proven. I want them to prove to me that, yeah, no, this show can get way better. Just fucking watch mate. And if that happens, I'll be very excited because that would be the best thing ever. And you know, Mob's also just a great show. I mean, and in the sense of the lessons about your sense of self and about the importance of others and friendship and all that gay shit, like, it, it has that very friendship is magic-y uh, message that I think it tells in a very mature and cool way and really just in, and in that, and in the process of that further accentuates just how great Reagan and Mob really are as characters, which only further points to the brilliance of the show as a whole because what does it do in the end it it made these two incredibly different but yet incredibly likable main characters that you want to follow and you want to see their journeys of and even when their journeys are a bit more mundane like say the OVA uh you know you're still invested because of everything that these characters are built on their their story their journey and who they are deep down, all of it coalescing with the fact that they're just both cool as fuck and you have yourself this incredible duo that is Mob and Reagan and the, they are the backbone of the show because both of them are fucking amazing and, you know, they, they are the, um, they are the vehicles in which they tell the story and they tell it wonderfully. Um, this is probably the most I've actually talked about a show. It was more in generalities because, again, I don't like to talk about specifics. I actually had the episode, so I could have went into specifics, but I didn't. Uh, but just talking in generalities, there was a fair bit that I could 
just throw praise on Mob 4 because, um, you know, I don't mind sucking this show's dick after uh, this season. It definitely deserves a blowjob for uh, this performance. So I'll get on my knees for you, Reagan. Let's uh, let's suck some cock. But uh, <laughs> anyways, all uh, sauce aside, that's going to do it for Mob Psycho 100 Season 2, and that's going to do it for my review uh, for Episodes 9 to 13 and the OVA for Season 2 of Mob Psycho. So anyways, like I said, the reactions are down below in the in the description. I also have a bunch of shit in the description that's related to me and the channel. And uh, yeah, you guys can... Uh, can uh, check it out. So, yeah, that's always fun. Anyways, a flaming shark signing. Oh wait, no, I gotta get the, the the whole new school intro of this. Time for me to bid you adieu. Flaming shark sign out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>